for a period of time in the past, there was some uncertainty about the status of main battle tanks. The modern anti-tank missiles have reduced the survivability of main battle tanks, but another viewpoint did not give up on tanks. However, the direction in which tanks should develop remains unclear. In recent years, many countries have proposed their own ideas. Among them, Germany and France attempted to develop the European Main Battle Tank, EMBT, a few years ago, to explore the technological line of future tanks. The EMBT tank was publicly displayed in 2018. This unique tank is actually a combination of Germany's Leopard 2 main battle tank and France's Leclerc main battle tank. The former contributed the chassis and power system, while the latter contributed the improved turret. The EMBT can be said to integrate the most advanced practical technology available to Germany and France at that time. The designers intended to control the weight between 60-62 tons, with a finished weight of 61.5 tons. From the perspective of Western countries' main battle tank standards, it is not considered heavy. At the same time, some modern auxiliary systems have been incorporated into the tank. The tank chassis is improved from the Leopard 2 tank and uses a German-made MTU-883 EPP engine, which can output 1,500 horsepower. The tank has high off-road mobility, with a maximum speed of 65 km per hour and a maximum range of 460 km. The tank is only equipped with a crew of four. The driver is located in the front right of the hull, with a weapons operator on his left side. In addition to conventional sighting equipment, the tank is also equipped with 23 cameras, providing a panoramic view of the tank's surroundings. The EMBT is equipped with a two-person turret with an automatic loading system. It is lighter in weight. However, in order to provide enough operating space for the crew, the turret ring has been moved 0.2 meters back from the Leopard 2 chassis. In order to reduce the profile and better protect the crew, the sides of the turret are lowered by 0.8 meters compared to the Leclerc tank, and the seats of the tank commander and gunner are lowered as much as possible. The main gun of the tank is a 120 mm L-52 smoothbore gun, with 22 rounds of ammunition carried inside the tank. It can fire all NATO standard 120 mm tank ammunition. The auxiliary weapons include a 12.7 mm coaxial machine gun and a 7.62 mm machine gun located in the front left of the turret. This machine gun is coaxial with the tank commander's sight and can be operated independently by the tank commander. 22 rounds of main gun ammunition may seem a bit low, but it is excessive in dealing with many targets. Therefore, an ARX-30 remote weapon station is installed above the turret. This is a ground version of the armed helicopter, equipped with a 30mm machine gun and 150 rounds of ammunition. It has a maximum elevation angle of 60 degrees and can replace the main gun to strike some cover and lightly armored targets. All crew members can obtain image data from various sensors through displays, and the modular design allows for quick installation of subsystems. According to requirements, the gunner is equipped with an optical sight capable of engaging targets beyond 3 kilometers, as well as an electro-optical day-night sight. The level of protection of the tank has not been disclosed. The bottom of the tank has been appropriately reinforced and other parts are believed to be comparable to or slightly better than the Leopard 2 and Leclerc tanks. However, it is clear that the tank did not initially consider infrared signal protection, as the person in charge at the exhibition said it would be considered in the next stage. As an experimental tank for technological exploration, the development of the EMBT has not stopped. It is reportedly planned to equip it with an onboard drone and replace the main gun with a 140mm caliber. However, it may now be necessary to conduct research on ongoing actual combat. It is unknown what kind of results the EMBT will ultimately yield.